and welcome to our very first show on the British Craft Network. We are super excited. <laughs> yes, and today we have a fantastic brand new CD for you. It's called Butterfly Botanicals and guess what? It's got butterflies in it. And it's botanical. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and get started and show you some demos. And we'll do a, I don't know if you can see all these fantastic samples done by our DT behind us. We will do a flick through of some of the samples mm -hmm. later on. Um, but for now, shall we go ahead and get started on doing some demos? Ooh. We will let's show you what we've got, so to speak. <laughs> see you in a little while. Okay, so this is our brand new CD today. Um, Butterfly Botanicals, and as you may expect with the title, as we said earlier, it does have butterflies and it's kind of like a botanical feel. It is a vintage style distressed kind of CD again, which is very, very popular. And we're getting asked for more and more um, different themed vintage style cards. So this is exactly what we've done. So the CD um, is click and print. Uh, for those of you who want to know its compatibility, it's compatible with Apple Mac, PCs, and even Linux. Yes, so all of them really. Everything. Um, click and print, as Ian just said, but obviously you will need a PDF reader to view all the printable files, um, which is a free thing. It's a free download. There are, there are two links on the insert, and are they on the back as They're well? They're on the back, just here, where you can, if you don't have it, you can download for free. Um, no installation necessary. You don't have to install it. It doesn't take up any room on your computer. It runs from the disc itself, so there's no storage at all needed. Just print when you need it and enjoy it. Yeah, it's a great resource for your shelf. You can just go to, take off, pop the disc in, decide what you want, print it, take it out, and put it away again. All done. All done. So that's the disc. And now contained on the disc, we have um, card making sets. There are backing papers, there are postcards, which we'll show you in a moment. Um, lots of different backing papers, aren't there? It's um, crammed, crammed yeah. full. Uh, and toppers uh, and on all sorts of stuff. So, but I will do um, a show and tell as to what's on the disc um, at some point during the show. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so that's the CD. If you're not a CD crafter and you'll much prefer your paper, there is a set of five beautifully printed kits with the distressed background. You've got a beautiful red one here. I have actually I do actually have a card made up here from the red one. I mean that is absolutely stunning. The dimension on it is beautiful. It's lovely. I love the colours on these. I think they're stunning. There we go. So that's the red one. They are an A3 sheet folded in half. So you've got your backing papers, you've got your different sentiments. You've got everything that you're likely to need. And they've got a gorgeous silky sheen to them as well. Mm, beautiful. So we have the red one there. That's the card from it. We also have the most beautiful Satsuma. Satsuma? Satsuma orange. I mean, it's, again, the beautiful. They're all distressed, pre-distressed, but of course, I'm going to do some demos in a little while. They are a lot more distressed when yeah. if you want. You got a sample with that one? I have, Mike, I have. So we've got, I mean, look at that. And that was made by Mike, I think. It was made by me, yes. <laughs> that is so beautiful. And the dimension on it, if you look down the card, it's just beautiful. So that's the orange one. I also have a beautiful, beautiful yellow one. It's like a swallowtail, that wasn't it? I think it is a swallowtail butterfly, yeah. So we've got the distress feel again. We've got a lovely, lovely, lovely cornflower blue going on there with the yellow. Yeah, I love the combination of the blue and the yellows. I do as well. You've got all three different shaped sentiments. You've got the circular ones, which are compatible with the it's a one inch circle punch. That one is a... It's a decorative label punch from Stampin' Up. Yeah, so Stampin' Sue's will have that. And we've also got the other one. The artisan label. And that's from Stampin' Sue's as well. But also, that top one there fits the um, postage stamp. Flip it, eh? I know, we try oh. and make it as easy as we Fantastic. can. You could also make mats out of the background because the background has got the lovely, lovely mottled effect, as you will see. Yes. Yeah. What weight are they printed on? Here? They're printed on a 190 gram. So they're not flimsy, though? Oh, no, they're practically cardstock. Excellent. And then we've also got, we've got the white and the golden orangey coloured one. Is that a cabbage white? No, I'm a cabbage. No, oh, fair enough. <laughs> so you've got, same again, you've got the butterflies, you've got the backing papers, you've got, I love the little hands. I think they're... They're very in. They're very the moment, pointy. Very, in very pointy. <laughs> so we've got that one, and we've also got the most beautiful lilac one, which I'll just show you the sample to start with. How 
beautiful is that? Mm, I think Danielle, I think that's Danielle's cat. I think that's Danielle's, yeah, yeah. Danielle's made this. Um, Danielle's obviously used a few other embellishments on there. She's used a little die cut and some a flower and some ribbon. The flower she's actually made from the paper. Yes, yeah, the flowers are constructed using... If we have a using... look, yeah, I yes. didn't see that, yep. Yeah. So, I mean, that's great, that's beautiful, and that's the lilac one from that set. It's more of a plum colour, really. Yeah, plum yeah. colour. So you've got the five different sets here. Um, that you can make the most beautiful cards with. Yep, these are absolutely stunning. So, we have a 6x6 six six paper stack and we have a set of what we call our postcard toppers. Um, brand new again today, so I'll flick through so I can show you um, all the patterns that you're getting on the paper stack. Now there are 12 designs and you're getting two of each. You are. Yeah. So I think actually, is this a full? That's full, a full stack of both. It, it yeah. is a full set. Yeah. So we're getting uh, to start off with. We have the orange distressed dots. We have a sage. Well, it's sagey kind of foresty green. Yeah. Yeah. You're also getting the blue. What I like to call the lagoon blue. Yes. So that's the stripes again. You're also having the. Um, almost the honey coloured stripes there and you also have a beautiful damask again you've got a little bit of a nice sheen on these papers haven't yeah, you 190 gram again so it's the same weight as the uh... so it's the same weight as the cardstock yeah yeah fantastic so you've got the the honey type colour there you've got the orange damask as well and then you have what we like to call our collage papers which have got butterflies and book text and some hot air balloons there are some hot air balloons in there as well and there's also i think there's a lady in there somewhere as well um so these are perfect if you're into your steampunk kind of um theme cards now this one's got uh, a plum color of the butterflies and the text is in a kind of like a, a plum color so again the same one in the orange rust a rust color rust. yep and again this time you have what we call the well, the butterfly backing papers. Anyway, again, this is in the plum, but there's a faint text that runs in the background. Now, if you could read it, you'd see that it is the words to a, a song about Love butterflies. Love is like a butterfly. Don't sing. Okay. All right. And then you also have the green version again. And then towards the end, you have what we call our scroll papers. Beautiful, those. Beautiful scroll papers. So, again, you get that in the red colour, and you're also getting it in the blue. So you're getting two each of these sheets. So as we all know, crafters like one to love and one to use. So you've got two of each in that pack there. And again, they're printed on a 150 GSM um, cardstock. It's almost cardstock, isn't it? Oh yeah. So it's a lovely weight. And you can see you've got a nice little sheen to those papers too. So a very welcome addition to your paper stack. And to go with those, we have the Butterfly Botanical Postcards. Okay, so there are 12 designs in this, and I'm going to turn it that way, because you'll see why. There's the first one. So these are the postcard style toppers that have been taken from, uh, they're similar to the ones that are on the CD, but if you're a non-CD crafter, you can play just as much as anybody else can. Now, we have a lovely sample here. Um, which was made by our lovely DT member, Judy. Judy's, she, not, Judy's not a CD girl, she likes her paper. That's right, Judy doesn't do CD crafting. So she's able to create this just by using two of the backing papers and one of the... Oh, actually three of the backing Pretty papers, there you She's go. also stitched it. She has, she's an absolute marvel. And I see these um, samples that she makes and I just think, how on earth has she managed that? But isn't that beautiful? It almost looks like a corset, doesn't it? I wouldn't know. <laughs> I tried to stay away from ladies' lingerie. Well, that's fair enough then. Oh, since the court order? Yes. Okay. Right. And again, so that's a beautiful little message pocket, a little message card um, that Judy's created. Now, so Judy's a very girly girl because they're all... Oh, she uh, likes that, yeah. Yeah. All her cards are always beautifully uh, adorned with lace and ribbon and that kind of stuff. So, I'll flick through some more. So, you're getting... All sorts of different types of butterflies, and again, oh, we have another. I have another one. This another Judy sample. I mean, this. It's an easel card. It's an easel card, but yeah. it's so beautifully it made. Is. I mean, look at those roses. I think they look like a felt actually. They look like flocking. It's beautiful, isn't it? Now she's used two of the postcards on this sample, hasn't she? She's used the 
um, the red butterfly, which is that one there, but she's put pearls around the bottom. And she's also used... And she's used a swallowtail one as she well. She has. Well, that's that one. Beautiful. So we've got that one, so we've got the cabbage whites again. And again, all featuring the book text behind. They have like the botanical classification numbers and some distressed dots on there in a, in a sepia tone background. So these will tone in with pretty much any backing paper. So again, the swallowtails. You have that beautiful plum one again. They've all got the individual numbers, and actually all the numbers are different on each pair. <laughs> <laughs> and it took me ages. Okay, and then we have the red set of butterflies, and then we have the beautiful red admiral. Admiral, yeah. No, admi no is it admiral? Admiral, not admiral. Admiral, not admiral. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and again, the orange one. Um, and then you have a collection one. So you have three different butterflies on that one. And again, the last one, three different ones once again. Actually, it's not the last one, is it? That's, I'm going on in circles here. I think it might be but. Yeah, so we've got some more samples. Actually, there's that one there too. I think we're back to the beginning. Yeah, that's back to the beginning, isn't it? But so. look at that one. That is so made from... This is another Judy card, it isn't is. it? It is. Can you just move the papers out of the way, please, Mike? I will. On this one, we have a six by six with a scalloped edge. It's got beautiful roses on it. And she's actually embossed that as well, hasn't she? She has. An embossing oh, folder. We've got tags galore here. They're absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, you've got those? Yeah, so I've got those. So again, a simple tag um, made from one of the postcards and she's just adorned it with some pearls, some lace and some ribbon. And again, you have uh, a message area on the back and then she has three other almost bookmarks, aren't they? You could put little family photos on. You could. You could put little family photos on there or it could actually like be a, a little min a mini album, couldn't mm. it? So commemorating some, like maybe a birthday. Just look at that beautiful ribbon with the pearls. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Okay, have we got anything else? We've got one here which is made from just the backing paper. Oh wow. There you are. Oh yes, yes, now look at this. How lovely is that? So just with some die cuts and she's used some doilies. Little tags again. And you have two little message tags for... Messages? Um, well, for messages, for saying I love you, for saying happy birthday, for saying thanks for being a great mum, for any kind of occasion, or even, um, so sorry to hear. Yes, yeah, yeah. Because it would make a beautiful sympathy card, wouldn't it? Not overly... Um, Sentimental. Yeah. So just putting a little message on the back of those little ones there. Again, or maybe even just putting a date or something like that on there. But so versatile, the seat, the yeah. paper pack, the postcards, and these uh, just make beautiful, beautiful yeah. cards. That's the, the Love Is paper, isn't it? With yeah, the, it is. With the green. Yeah. And then she's toned that in with the Distress Dot one. Yep, it's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Okay, so we've had a little bit of a walk through uh, and a close-up look at some of the new products that we have on offer for you today. So I think it's time we actually did some proper work. Less talky talky, more crafty crafty. Yes, that's quite similar to what you say to our ladies in classes, don't you? Yes, less talky talky, more crafty crafty. More cutty cutty. Yes. <laughs> that's the one. Okay, right, so we're going to go ahead and do some um, actual projects. Yeah. Which is really what you want to see. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Yeah. Okay. Right, so I've chosen my cardstock, which is a beautiful, beautiful pearlescent purple, one of my favourite colours. I've then chosen a piece of lilac, pale lilac, Mike, pale lilac? Lavender lilac. Lavender lilac, lilac. yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scruffing tool. A scruffer. Scruffer. All I'm going to do is just pull the blade down the edge. I'll put it flat, and Mike can do it in mid-air, but I'm not very good at it. Mm -hmm. So, I'm just scraping. The idea is just to distress the edges a little bit. I don't go the whole hog with ripping and, yeah. well, the, if the, I do. <laughs> yeah. The thing with these, these uh, scruffing tools is it's a circular blade um, inside, like a, 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 just like a plastic hub if you like, and there are notches. Do you want me to show the ladies yeah. the notches? There are, there are notches in there that expose the blade. You can't, can't cut yourself, can't cut yourself no. at all, but it's really, really good for distressing edges and the more you rub, the more distressed it gets. Yeah, and if you're using something like coordination's cardstock, yeah, you get an absolutely stunning effect. Um, now these scuffing tools are new for us, aren't they? We've never stocked these. No, we before. haven't. These are, these are lovely. Yeah, uh, but these are now available on our website, and they're fairly inexpensive too. I think they are. Yes. If it gets blocked, just tap it on the mm -hmm. counter, 
and just keep going with it. I'll just give it a quick. Do you? But yeah. Okay, so I've got my background card, which I'll attach on there. I've got my trusty tape runner. I would use uh, double sided, but I can never, ever, ever get the backs off them. Not when you've been recorded, anyway. No, and you can't really swear, it's not very nice. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to put that onto there. Wrong way around. There we are. It's one of my 6x6 ish cards. Yeah, they're kind of nearly 6x6. But you, we always make our card blanks from A4 sheets of card. We do. Which means that our 6x6s are slightly smaller than a true 6x6. They do. So you keep on working, don't I do, stop. sorry, I'm just stop me. Yeah. And so they're actually 148 and a half by 148 and a half. They are. Whereas a true 6x6 would be 152 millimetres by 152. Yeah. But you can't get one out of an A4 sheet. You can't. So I've picked the butterfly. The love is. Love is like a butterfly. That's going to go You're not going to sing again, are you? No, I promised I wouldn't. So please don't. Well, after you cut last time, I got a good beating, so I won't be singing uh -huh. this time. Okay, so. Yeah, but the bruises don't show, do they? No, they don't. So I've got, what I've done is I've made myself like a mat, but the mat has got two little slots cut in it. Oh, it's like a photo holder. It is, it's like a photo holder. I've got my topper. Well, it's my postcard, really, isn't yes. it? Yes. What I've done is I've cut round the, round the butterfly, but not right the way around. I've only cut towards the centre. Ooh, turn it over so the ladies can see the back. There we go. Sorry, it's ladies and gentlemen. I was going to say and gentlemen. because we do have quite a lot of gentlemen. We have a lot of gentlemen who watch, yeah. And when we watch, when we watch uh, demonstrations and they go, welcome ladies, you shout at the screen. I do, I do. And we do have quite a lot of gentlemen who buy our CDs. We have. So I do apologise for that. Okay, I'll just pop that to one side. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut around the last butterfly at the bottom. I use a scalpel. You, some of you ladies are very skilled, and gentlemen, skilled with scissors. I'm not good with scissors. It, it always amazes me just how you, we do classes quite often and ladies bring out pairs of scissors that you'd think were actually made. Well, actually, they were made for cutting fabric. They were, but they get the most minute date detail yeah. out. Wallpaper scissors. So, there we are. We have the dimension on that, as you can see through the back. Yeah, it actually looks like they're all alive, doesn't it? It does. And we're then going to pop that just through the little slots. I could distress with, with some ink if I wanted, or I could scruff the edges of the mat, but I'm not going to. I'm going to put that... Are you going to stick that down? I'm at, we'll stick it onto there. Yeah. No, I don't think I am. Okay. I don't think I am. Could do, but I might change my mind later. It's your demo. Of course it is. Remember that. I'm going to get a BT after this now. It is, ladies and gentlemen, trust me. Just going to put a couple of foam pads on. I could have done with some large foam pads, to be honest, but... Uh, some telly pads. Telly pads, as we call them, yeah. I'm not going to put many on. You won't see me taking foam pads off all afternoon. I'll just put on morning, or evening, or whatever time of the day it might be. Could be a repeat. It could be. There we go. Okay, I'll put that onto that. Jaunty angle. Good excuse for not putting it on straight. There well, we it disguises any uh, imperfections, doesn't it? Does. It does. Okay, I've, I've just used... Actually, that's a stamping up. Little die. Oh, was it? The top. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I was off the edge there. Oh dear. Move down a little bit. There we go. I'm new to this. Yeah, right. <laughs> I've used the Thinking of You sentiment off one of the kits. I believe it's. That one. That one there. Because they both work beautifully together. The kits and. Yeah, but the thing is, I mean, how many different sentiment stamps have we got at home <sighs> that aren't necessarily our own? Hundreds. Hundreds. Yeah. You so if you don't have if you don't have any bespoke you know sentiments, then just use one of your stamps and some purple ink. We know you have purple ink at home. Everybody has purple yeah, ink. Yeah. Whether home. you use a Tim Holtz distress ink, the Dusty Concord works perfect for That's this. That's a nice the, one. Yeah. The Right Persimmon will work really nice for this one. And of course, you've got all those other brands as well. Your Mementos. Yeah. Your you know just there will be a purple amongst there all those. There will. The Memento one. There's a plum. There is. A plum. Okay, what I've done is I've punched out from a sheet of the cardstock and I'm going to pop it in my pop the flower in the base of my hand, ball till just roll, and as you roll it round, the leaves will curl up. Oh, yeah, I'll do another one. I can never do that. It does actually hurt if you push too hard. No, it's not that, I've got sweaty palms. That's because you're guilty of something. Is that what it is? Probably. Okay, so. You're guilty I'll... of having sweaty palms. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to use some. I need, I need to just put a little foam pad in the middle. 
I wouldn't mind some glue, but I don't think we've got any. Something that's it. I'm just thinking, we did have a bottle of PVA somewhere. You know what it is, don't you? That K rotter. Yeah, you should probably put it in a Turn bag. it on with her. Yeah, probably. There we go. I'm only joking, Kay, if you're listening. I don't want a beating. <laughs> okay, so I'm just building the flowers up. It doesn't really matter Ooh. Oops, which colour you put on top first. It's alive. It's alive. That will go into there. What this is just one of those inexpensive... Um, it's a tonic, I think. Is it a tonic? I think it's a tonic. Blossom awesome punch, or maybe be a woodwear one. Yeah, I can get my text. Can you remember what colour the punch was? Orange. They may be a tonic. Yes, so one. If I, was, if I was making this at home, I'd have probably used a little bit of silicon glue just to, to make sure it doesn't pop off. Pop off? Pop off, yes. So have a look. Oh, give it some welly. Yes, there we are. And just to finish off, I'm just going to use some stickles. Stickles. What colour is this one? This is lavender. Lavendula. Just do off, off camera, just to make sure I don't actually... You're doing that on my writing pad. I'm not. Yes, I am. One. Two. Oops, Three one. nice globules of. Do we have the purple in stock, or we've just got Christmas in at the moment? I think we've just got Christmas in at the moment. Right, one, but we normally will have this two. in, but not necessarily in today. That's right. But we do have lots of Christmas stickles in. <laughs> it's, just, it's just arrived. Yes. And there we have... A lovely lilac card. Gorgeous. Not a lot of messing about. Nice and quick. If you're an advanced crafter, you could do distress it more with some, some distressing inks. Punch it, make a lacy border with your Martha Stewart or mm. your tattered lace dies. Yeah, could do. Yep. That took you about eight minutes to yep. do that. I mean, all right, you pre-cut those just a little bit, but they're not that much, really. Oh, it's a great standby, isn't it? It is. And what's nice as well, if you want, you could also use glossy accents on the leaves. On the leaves. Oh, what am I talking about? On the wings, that will give it some strength as well while they're up, so they stay up like that. Or put a little bit of silicon underneath. Yeah, yeah. I usually put a little bit of silicon just to hold them up, especially if you're sending it through the post. Oh yeah, a little bit of silicon or glossy yeah. accents to make it look really shiny, really pretty. And they they do look like they're alive, don't they? They do. I've enjoyed making this. I'll just hold it up to the camera so the ladies can see the dimension. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, sorry again. Down a bit, that's it. I've enjoyed making it. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. Gorgeous and purple. I've already gone ahead and cut out all the uh, the panels and bits and pieces for this card now. Uh, as you can see, there are the, um, the little pointy fingers. I've print. I've cut out all of the the backing panels. That I'm going to be using and I've got all my butterflies and everything sorted out over that side Inge just putting the foam pads on for me because I'm far too lazy. Um, now just wanted to quickly show you these have been printed out um, just from a normal printer. Now you can tell that because there's a little bit of an imperfection there look um, and we would never sell a kit that had that kind of imperfection on it. But when you print at home you can cover it up with your toppers. Well that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be covering it up with one of these toppers um, like that, so you're never going to see it. Um, but yeah, so you can see the type of quality of the colour that you get from the printouts from the CD. Is that the scruffing tool and you've, have you distressed it? Uh, I have, okay. This isn't how it's printed out. Okay, It's obviously a lot more pristine than that when you print it out. I've taken um, the, the, the scruffing tool or the edge crimp. Our favourite tool for today. It is our favourite tool for today. Actually not just for today because I think I've got two or three of these stashed all over. You won't let me have one. <laughs> no, because you'll do the furniture. Uh, and as you can see, I've actually gone round the edge of that backing paper there, and then I've actually, after I've done that, um, I've distressed it with vintage photo distressing, but I've used my finger dauber. I love those. Yeah. Um, rather than using a full pad or one of those big sponge um, distress tools. You can't get the detail with those. Well, it's a, a easier. You've got more control with your finger just going over the edge like that than you have with a big pad I think yeah. and I find these are a lot easier to have than one of those big sponges but also they're cheap enough to have one for each colour well that's the thing you see these come in packs of three perfect mm. so oh, they're on the website aren't they they are on the website otherwise I wouldn't have bothered showing you like um, I think they're about 250 I don't think they're a lot of money it's brilliant well no they're not they're not bad at all and of course if you're using water-based inks 
wash them out. Wash them out and use them for a different colour. Literally, they're so versatile. So again, the edge crimper or the scruffing tool, as we call it, um, again, is on our website. Brand new for us. We don't normally sell this kind of thing, but we are doing now. Yes. Um, and that's what it looks like in the packet. Da, 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 da. The word edge crimper doesn't really do it justice. No, it's not really crimping, is it? No. No. Anyway. Come on, get started. Let's, I'm digressing, aren't I? Okay, so we're going to get ahead and start putting the card together. So for ease of use, I'm just going to use double-sided tape rather than faff about with um, glue. Yeah, that kind of thing. So basic cream pearlized card nice. stuff. Yes, it's rather lovely, isn't it? Okay, just from stash. Now you can use whatever colours go with the colours. You could use a blue, you could use yeah. a yellow, you know, whatever. Uh, and I'm going to place that. Black would be lovely. It would be a really, really nice statement piece or if you dark used a brown. Black. Yeah, something like that. So, and I'm just going to stick that onto that piece there. Okay, and then I'm going to take the damask panel and just stick that down. But I'm going to slightly offset that. So I'm going to start off my jaunty angles. Now again, you could distress the life out of this one if you wanted to. Yeah. Um, but you obviously don't want to see me standing here scraping the edges of a piece of paper all It doesn't all make for good television, you know. Not really. Okay. Now, before I stick that one down, again at another jaunty angle, I'm going to stick this one in. Is that a map? It is a map. It Vintage is a map, map of... Um, Eastern Europe and India. Oh. And that's included, obviously, oh. on the kit. And I'm going to stick that just so it's slightly going over. It's very ephemeral, isn't it? Yeah. No, not effeminate. That's what Richard calls it. Yeah, well, he would do. Yeah. Okay, and now I'm going to place that. Now, I want to get this straight, actually. So I'm going to place it like ah, that. Ah, so that's the, the straight pieces of the two are at an angle. Yeah, because it adds just a really nice mat. Very nice, yeah. Yeah? Okay. So I'm going to start putting all my uh, embellishments, all my printed embellishments. Anyway, I'm going to lay the butterflies until a bit later on. Now, I have got um, two of the little postage stamps. Again, I've gone round with the... Um, Finger dauber. I'm not very eloquent today, am I? Sponge daubers, that's what they call them. Sponge daubers. Sponge daubers. Uh, and I'm just going to, because I've only stuck that down with ah. tape, I'm just going to tuck those under. Clever. Okay. <gasps> hmm. And I'm going to put those in at kind of opposite angles, like, I've actually used repositionable. Oh, clever. Oh, she did. Hey. Just to get those at that kind of little angle there. Okay, so they're tucked under. Now, what I've also got on the kit, um, there's different sentiment circles. Now, these are like one inch sentiment circles. You've got wish, dream, and love on this one, I, I think. Have. Now, you? there are six different ones on each of the kits, all obviously colour coordinating, and you can put whichever three you think are appropriate for the type of occasion that you're sending. Do you think these would be fantastic with gloss accents on to make like a domed. Yes. You, um, you could actually, look. Yeah, you could actually um, put glossy accents on them, punch a tiny little hole in the top and make them as little charms, dangly charms if you wanted That'd to. That'd be nice, well. yeah. yeah. So I'm putting those on there, like so. Would you like your sentiment next to them? Not just yet, because okay. I'm actually going to put my little pointy fingers on there. Okay. Next, right? Are you pointing at particular words on there? No, what I'm going to do is I've got one that points left and one that points right. right. So I'm going to put one at that side. Yeah. And then I'm going to put this other one pointing over that way. This, this the CD is absolutely cram full of stuff and I think you could literally make hundreds and hundreds of cards without repeating yourself. I, I think you can do quite a few variations. Now again I've put, cut out the butterfly, uh, fussy cut. Um, I didn't cut these out with the scan and cut like I normally do because do you know what? Just occasionally I actually like to cut out. I don't I use the scan and cut all the time. Yeah so I'm just going to line up the bottoms of the butterfly and just pop that down on a foam pad. And then the large one, thank you, my able assistant here. And the other one's flying in. Flutter by <laughs> in. There you go. And then I'm going to place that one just there, like so. Again, you can use glitter, you can use glossy accents, it's entirely up to you on that one. I was just thinking, you can get it 
get resin epoxy resin domes you could put on top of those. I think they're that size. Yeah, I think you can actually get inch sized ones. Now then, I've taken the congratulations on your anniversaire card. I don't know whether the lights are going to allow me to there you go. Yes. I can read that now. Congratulations on your anniversary. Now for this, you can put it pretty much any way you want. So I'm going to tuck that just at the top, underneath that butterfly's wing, just to give it a little bit of dimension there. So it does actually look like it's coming off from the page. I'll look at that. Many ladies and gentlemen have asked us regarding our angel policy, because some companies are a little bit stuffy about it. What we say is when you've got the CD, you can print as much as you like. <laughs> stuffy, I like that. Stuffy. Precious is the That's word. That's the word, use. yeah. You can actually, if you want to make a million cards, sell a million cards. Just do, please don't print the sheets out and sell the sheets as they are because that is not nice. No, not at all. But whatever you make with these is yours to, if you're, if you're selling for charity or you're selling for your own stash. Mm. And remember, this card was created using just the resources from one kit from our Butterfly Botanical CD. Okay, I think it's time for another demo. Are you going to roll your sleeves up, Ian? I'll pop my pin up. I wish I had some of those printer sleeves that Kay Halliwell Sutton wears. <laughs> You're not doing any inking. Oh, I'm not, am I? No. I just like them anyway. This is true. Okay, less waffle, more demo. This is another one created just from the postcards and the paper stack. To start with, I've got my 6x6. It's nice and white this time. I've used the scruffing tool as normal. You've only done it on one side. I only want to do it on one side. I saw, I saw a demo on the internet and I liked it. I thought, Ooh. On the Tinterweb. Tinterweb. Again, I'm just going to, oh, I hope if I turned it on, wouldn't it? So, I was just going to say, is that upside down, but it isn't, is it? Nope. I'll show. Thank you. Okay, so, put the base layer on. This is the lovely honey coloured stripe. Could always stress the edges if you wanted. I chose not to. I've got some from stash, some bronze. It's almost like a coffee colour, isn't it? It's a lovely colour and it breaks beautifully with the distressing ink. Pearlescent. It is pearlescent. Right. That's a repositionable tape pen. Doesn't yeah. Doesn't normally work all that well on pearlescent. It'll work today for me. Because I'm special. Well you need a special assistant. I have you. Okay. So, just, oh, it's a bit squeaky. It is, isn't it? I thought it was my hip joints. <laughs> so, I'll just put that on top of that. It's just a nice little hint of a border all the way around. Isn't yeah, it? there is. It's just, just to... Uh, but it's toning the colours in, isn't it? It is. I've also got a mat in the same, but I'm just going to bring in my other bits and pieces that I've some I made earlier. Ooh, ooh, what you got, what you got? Okay. Stampin' Sue's gave me some very lovely ribbon, which matches beautifully oh well there's a coincidence yes indeed so this is the um hello honey i think it ribbon is hello. stamping up isn't it it is hello honey i've also got a gingham where's that from that's actually from the easy bows the brights oh sorry our, easy blooms easy blooms so what i've done so, is i've popped out from the sheet and for those ladies and gents at home who've never seen the uh, our paper flowers before, these are called Easy Blooms and they're available in two or three different colourways. They are, but this is the Brights. So this is from the Bright pack where this you is, get... This is yellows, baby blues... Red. Red and pale green. I think you get a green in there. I can't remember. Yeah. But, have a look on the website. Yes, because they're all there. I've also got a Brad from Stash, which I'll show you when I get there. So, I'll just put those up there for now. To start with, I just want to peel off. Oh, oh red liner tape, your oh, favourite. No. Mike's favourite. Oh look, that came off really easy for me. I hate you. Right, before I do this, I know you're all gonna to say to me, You've got to you should have took it underneath first. But as quite Mike quite rightly reminded me, it is repositionable and I can tuck it in underneath. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Oops. That's not very straight that is it? Let's put it a bit, a bit straighter. Uh, you see, now then, that was red liner tape. The nice thing about the paper and the postcards, as Mike's just reminded me, is the fact that you do have a window of opportunity to reposition without it biting. Yes, because of the way they're printed, even if you use red liner tape and you get it wrong, you have a few, well, about a minute or so, yeah. um, and you can still reposition red liner tape on our paper. 
on our backing papers. You can. Which is an absolute bonus oh, as far as I'm concerned. Very much so. I'll just, there we are, let's tip that underneath there. And then that one underneath there. There we go. What I've got then, I've got the, t the mat for the topper, which I'm going to use. It's the same lovely, lovely metallic -y, well, pearlescent. It's almost metallic. It is almost metallic. It's quite masculine, actually, isn't it? It's an. I don't see any reason why you couldn't send these to a man anywhere. These cards. Well, no. I mean, botanical but, was. Yeah, I mean the colours that you've used are very neutral because you've got the browns and the yellows and like the red colours. They're actually quite autumnal colours. Yes, they are. And I think you could send this card to a guy who was maybe like retiring. Yeah. Um. You know. Uh, or. Yes, I wouldn't mind getting this card. And I'm not retiring yet, unless yeah. you know something I don't. And, and there was a really nice phrase used by um, by somebody recently when they were talking about autumn colours for a man. In the, you know, somebody who was in the autumn of his years. Now I thought that was a really nice description. That is a nice description. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna pop that there. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I've cut out one of the butterflies. The reason I haven't cut them all out will become evident in a moment. I'm just gonna pop some tape on the back. Okay. Put that on there. What I like about this is to stick it down, you can just put your hand over the top and then just, put it <laughs> and then you can put the butterfly up afterwards. What, what you could do if you really wanted is stick another colour underneath that shows through. Mm. There we are, so that's one. Black would work well. It would work beautifully. Okay, I've got some brads from Stash. My Stash. Well, you've been stealing from that craft room again, haven't you? No, Susie gave me these. Did she? She did. Okay, so I'll show you how the easy blooms work. You've got your brad. You're then going to take your first layer, you make them back to front, so you just pop that on there. We'll then pick, we'll have that one. Alternate your patterns. Alternate your patterns. And then the spiky, they're all die cut, so you haven't got to worry about cutting any of them out. What you do is you open up the arms of the brad. I happen to say the cause them legs once, and somebody pointed out it was a bit rude, so I'm not going any further yes, with that. because you don't want to be opening, the, um, opening your legs on Tell TV. Me. No, you don't. No. Just pull them through your fingers and you've got a lovely, lovely... I'm going to stick these on with a little bit of glossy accents. Mainly because I've forgotten to bring the, uh, the glue out with me. Could you use a foam pad? Oh, I could, couldn't I? Yeah, yeah. that's a good idea. Not wasting me glossy accents. Sorry. Okay. So, foam pad in the middle. Peel off. It's the heat of the moment, you see. I know. The excitement of it all. Ooh. I'm just going to bend those up a little bit more. You could do that with a bone fold before you put them on, couldn't you? You could. You can also stamp on them if you put them on. Well, this is true. Before you put them on. I'll put that one up there. Oh, it's a, it's a really nice colour match, isn't it, really? It's a lovely colour, isn't it? So we've got that one there. I've then got my second one, which is the large yellow. And I'm going to use, I'll use the similar one again out from the stash. And why not? And why not? Okay, so we say so we build back to front. So we have Brad. Flower center, middle flower, and then the large outer. But again, with these, um, they're printed on a really good um, paper stock, aren't they? So that we can distress them. You can distress them, and you can again use distress ink, and it takes the ink really, really well if you wanted to give it that grungy sort of you know, old worldy effect. But again, you don't have to because this one looks really neat, really clean and fresh. Some ladies don't do don't do that kind of thing. I mean Shirley Ann in Australia is in our design team. Yes. Shirley Ann doesn't like to do dirty. She makes the most beautiful, beautiful cards. She's a clean and simple girl, isn't she? Yes. Just like me. Okay, so I'll pop that on the back. I forgot to put that on. It doesn't matter. But I don't see it as being a big thing. No. I'll just get rid of it. You could always put it on the inside if you wanted to. You could, a little, little effect. It's a little embellishment. Yes. So the flower will go there. Nice, nicely balanced. Lovely, yes. Okay. The reason I haven't done anything with the... Other two? With the other two is the fact that I'm going to put glossy accents on it. So... You're going to attempt live glossy accents. <laughs> wish, me, wish, me, wish me a little bit. Good luck, Carruthers. Just round the outside. I always like to go round the outside first because... Well, it forms a kind of lip, doesn't it? It does. 
and it stops the glossy accents from wandering over your line. You've got a lot more control if you actually put that Ew. outside line first. He's talking into my ear and I'm a little bit scared. He's a little no. bit too close. Thank okay. you. <laughs> it's because your head's in shot. Is it? Only a little I apologise profusely like this. I'm gentleman. Okay. I also like the crackle glaze you can mm -hmm. get. But that's... Can I just bring the card down a little bit? Yes, you can. I'm a little bit crouching on the top. Yeah. Sorry about that. Okay. What I like, I like that there is one called Distressed Crackle Accents. Mm. I love that for when I'm making my steampunk machines. Because that's my hobby, ladies and gentlemen. I love to make steampunk machines. If you ever I see Kay Halliwell's son, ask her. <laughs> I've got the most beautiful one in the glass dome in her, in her sitting room. There we are. Okay. So are you just doing those two at the bottom? I am. I'm leaving the one in the middle. Okay. Because I think... Just bring it down again. It looks a little there, bit... That's it. That looks like real and they look like embellishments on the card. I haven't put a sentiment on it because I think you don't always have to. No, and again, this is one that you could keep uh, in reserve. Yep. And... You know, and stamp a yellow sentiment or something like that because you might want to keep this on just on reserve for one of those moments when you need a card in a hurry. So there we are. We have the easy bows, which match beautifully with the what's it called, honey? The hello honey. Hello honey paper, and beautifully with the background. You see the gloss on the butterflies. A very stunning card. Quite modern. Distress it how you like. I think that will be a hit with anybody you send it to. Yeah. So. Just centre it up a bit. Sorry. I'm getting there. Yeah, about there. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Once more. <laughs>
dictionary print that's not on straight so again I've used repositionable so I can position it better that's okay do it depend on how much you've actually distressed the edges. <laughs> well, I could, see them. Well, I could have gone in even further. So, there we go. So we've got that one on there. I'm also now going to take um, a red panel. So I've just printed that off and then cut the edges. Again, this is a, an A4 one. Bit but I've distressed cut it, as well. I've cut it down. Now, all I've done on that one, I've not distressed the edges on this one. All I've done... You daubed them. ...is I've put, again, vintage photo distressing just around the edge. Now, I'm going to put that right in the middle like so mm -hmm. and then i've just taken a random punch from mm -hmm. my many 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 punches that, that i have martha in my one? cupboard i don't think actually it might I think be it's like, a martha stewart one i think it might be a martha stewart one. i'm just going to line that up with the edge of the paper so that the, the lattice work shows up there that's beautiful and then again run equal bit of tape on it and do the same thing at that centre. I don't want to get my head in shot here. So I'll just line that up with the paper there and just push that down. And then I've got Ooh. my little stripe panel. Like that. And again, I've used vintage photo all the way around the edges. And I'm going to stick that on flat as well. You can see just some of the residue of the vintage photo. I need some vintage photo distress paint. It's, it's very difficult to get hold of. It's good to have it. Yeah, that's true. And then I'm going to place that right in the middle with the stripes going down like so. I know you can't really see the backing it's paper. Very smart though. But it just gives that nice sort of balance down there. Okay, actually that's not stuck on equally. Off you come again. Look at that. Look. You can't do that red liner tape. You actually can on this paper for a short time. <laughs> as proved a minute ago. Well, this isn't a pre-printed one, is it? This no, is, it's not. This it's what one you printed I've printed. Home, of course, it is. Yeah. I've printed this from the uh, the printer. In yeah. actually, I've printed it in the office, but don't tell the boss. Don't tell Sheila. She'll be cross. Yes. Okay. So there, I've also. You could introduce if you wanted to some, um, either some lace or some. Um, this is a. Part and, of a and doily. It was a part of a doily. We used to sell these square doilies, but we haven't had any for a long time. I'll have to try and get some. So I'm just going to lift that up there. From America? They, they were from America, yes. But again, it was one of those things that we were able to get at the time, but haven't been able to for quite some time. Well, I will have a look, see if we can get some. For sure. So I'm going to do that. Again, nice. because I've used repositionable, it allows me to be able to do this. But if you want to do this at home, all you have, I think my tape runner's just died. There's another one there. There is. Okay. Not repositionable this time. Remind me, I can no longer reposition. And I'm just going to tuck that. Is that to get you another one? Uh, You'd be all right, I don't you? think I have one in my bag. Oh, have you not? Oh dear, okay. Okay, so I'm just going to place that under there. Okay, so that just adds that a bit more texture and a bit more dimension to it. Okay. So I'm going to now put this on here. The card is upside down. I haven't stuck it down. Oh, it's just... Sorry. It would have done, ladies. It would have done. I would have done, but don't tell him that. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that on, but I'm going to put it on foam pads. So I'm going to add, ask my minion to just put that on, and then I'm going to bring in this panel here, which is the, um, the Roman capital sort of old architecture type panel. Now this is a, a topper from, I don't know it was actually from one of the kits or or what, and I'm just going to place that. That's on the CD, obviously. Yeah, of course, yeah, it's on the CD. Everything, all the bits, every single bit is on the CD. Okay. Are you done yet? Nearly, I'll get in there. We're keeping them waiting. Okay. The weekend I showed our friend Pearl at Thetford the new CD and she was, thought it was beautiful. Right. Should it early? Obviously. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to place that just on there. Like so. Now we can begin to put all our little embellishments and bits and pieces Butterflies on. first, sir? I think the butterflies can go on. Now I shall just drop that one in place and flick up Dowings. There we are. And again. The colours are so rich. They are. I love this red one. Again, this is another one that you could probably send to a a chap, 
in his prime. Do you want the fingers next or do you want the, the, the circular? Uh, could I please have the circular one? So we're going to use this time. Ow. We're going to, you can just stick to your fingers. Yes. We're going to use um, Dream. We're going to use Hope. And then we're going to use Wish. So all very aspirational words. It's a big word. I know. Okay. The sentiment I'm going to place towards the top. Top left again. And this time, I shall just... You're handing me glossy accents. Yes. What for? Are you, are you, has just run out, I thought. Are you... All right, no, it hasn't run out. Okay. So I'm going to place that up there. And then this one. A little bit Monty Python is the thing. I always it? think that, yeah. Come on. And then this one, I'm actually going to put pointing up that way. Oh, so it's yes. actually drawing attention to the sentiment. But the beauty about these is you can do get the left and the right. So... Okay, so just to finish off, oh, I haven't finished off yet, nearly. Do Could I have a foam pad there for a second? I've got like a little... My job, thank you. A little postcard you want. Can you put it on the right-hand side there for me? I'd love to. Thank you. And I'm going to take that off. And then I'm going to put a little bit on that side, just to even it out. And I'm going to tuck oh, that nice. just underneath there like that, just to break up that line. That's beautiful. Okay. So to finish off, what I've done is I've got a tiny little, um, a tiny little punch which just does little flowers, and I've punched out um, some of the excess from the um, the dictionary paper. So the bit that I didn't use because I printed an A4 piece, uh, and then I just punched out um, three more from the excess from the red cardstock when I did the lattice work. And for this, okay, I'm just going to bend them slightly in my, my hand and I'm going to put all three, do them exactly the same. And you've got some glossy accent there for me, Ian. And I'm just going to pop a tiny amount in the middle. You stay where you are. I don't want to get my head in shot for this one. And a little bit there. And then using the poker tool, I'm just going to lift it up and drop it over and then again lift it up and drop it over lift it up just alternate and vary the petals okay and then before I stick these down on my card I just need another little few drops of glossy accents because I can't find my PVA I'm just going to put three little drops. I always do the outside two first and then I can position the one in the middle better to make sure it is, and here comes the big word, equidistant. Ooh. Oh. They have a look of poppies about them. Kind of, which is quite nice considering we're coming up towards, with it being October, we're coming up towards remembrance. Um, remembrance, aren't we? So I'm just going to pick the whole thing up, lift and drop that down there whole thing up if it will allow me to. Lift up and pop that down and finally drop that one right in the middle and then, thank you for that, I'm just going to put some pearls. Stay where you are. All right, I can grab those. Just they normally go pudding across the craft room when you do that, don't they? Yes, I find pearls are stuck to the most strangest things. I once lost one at high velocity and found it a couple of weeks later stuck to the edge of a shelf. It's actually on the uh, the front edge of the shelf. That's lovely. And there we go. The colours are so rich. Beautifully rich and vibrant colours. I love the layers. I love the tucking underneath of the images, the elements. Yeah, and that's the beauty of these things. You can tuck almost anything you want to. You could have added some more ribbon, you could have added, a, you know, some um, like on the blue card we've just shown, mm. you could have added some embossing powders and that kind of stuff. So, But you could also write on there if you wanted You're to. You're only limited you, by you, your imagination, really. Of course you are. Of course you are. So there you go. There it is. Voila.
Well, that's the end of our very first programme on the British Craft Network. Whew. Hasn't time flown. It hasn't it just. So we hope you enjoyed it and we hope you'll join us again real soon for our next one. Thank you.